Claire Kopsky is here with us as we talk about some hectic mornings. Yeah, you might be relaxing now after getting the kids <laughs> out the door for school, mm -hmm. packing those lunches, remembering homework. We know that list is mm -hmm. quite long. The dog ate the homework, yeah. you know, you yeah. never know. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, in some neighborhoods of our city, just finding the motivation to send kids to school isn't easy. We're taking you to the South Side neighborhood of Napier Elementary, where an initiative that started three weeks ago is encouraging parents and kids to make school a priority. In this neighborhood on Mondays and Wednesdays. So good to see you. So good to see you. When the clock strikes 730, Pruitt Library becomes a bustling bus stop. It's five dollar buck Monday. If you walk with us on Mondays, you get five bucks just for walking. Green Three, bucks to shop at the school four, store. One, one, one. Earned by riding the bus. <laughs> but when pickup time comes, the bus driver doesn't leave on wheels. Let's start walking. Bus got to leave on time. The sidewalks, no longer silent, become a bus route. Good morning, good morning. Over 95% of the students that attend our school live less than two blocks away from the school. So that's a beautiful privilege that we have, and it makes it possible for the walking school bus to really work really well. Napier Elementary's walking school bus kicked off right before fall break. We got you, we got you, we got you. With the goal of boosting attendance and making up for delays on a bus route that's been running late in this neighborhood for about five years. This is an extended day school, so we get an extra 45 minutes just to give instruction so that we can make it so that our children can be competitive. But if the bus gets here 45 minutes late, then like, what's the use of having the extended day? A team of school leaders came up with the route that parents say is already making a difference. Great job. That's what big sisters do. Great job. It's one of the more positive things that I see around here. So it was, it was very uh, nice to see. I love it because I've been wanting them to do something for the kids because a lot of the kids, their parents, they don't they don't walk with them in the cars. They don't care. Scary out here. And then with the shootings and everything else, it's not safe for them. Safety and it's like we're a family. Strengthening community. She's looking good this morning, young brother. Looking good. Boosting attendance <laughs> and building confidence. They're walking into school with joy and bliss and happiness, and also in the feeling of being lifted up, right? So as we're walking with them, we're lifting them up and we're carrying them in our hearts as well as our minds. So by the time they get here, each one of them have grown like two inches, right? And they have all this muscle mass and they're able to conquer anything. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky. Thank you for walking with us. News Channel 5. Mark Anthony told us that in addition to the focus on increasing attendance, the walking school bus is intended to help unite the community as it faces gentrification as so many other Nashville neighborhoods have been up against as well. And Mark Anthony, you guys are certainly the right man for the job. Uh -huh. He has the passion, yes. the energy, the kids love him. And, and so. Leland, you, you were there to kind of yes. help kickstart this. You were asked by the PE teacher mm -hmm. to help lead this thing off not long ago. Yeah, not too long ago, they were there for Walk to School Day, which is a national initiative, but mm -hmm. they were able to take this and make it local and have those kids meet other folks, it's the, the community can see those kids actually kind of grow up through those yeah. elementary years. Fantastic. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm.